we're here today to do a walkthrough on this home that we're about ready to, to do some uh, major remodeling on. This is a Ralph Haver uh, mid-century modern home. Ralph Haver was an architect famous in the Phoenix area and uh, both Phoenix and Scottsdale uh, for building these homes built all through the 40s, 50s, 60s. They uh, typically have uh, low slung roofs like you can see on this. Uh, post and beam construction, you can see some of that under the carport here and more inside the house. This large window is also uh, one of the typical features to a Haver home. We have some in the other end of the home as well. Now you see as we come inside here, we've already done some major work on the house. The entire ceiling has been taken out to facilitate doing our electrical rewire. Uh, since the house has no attic to speak of, this is the only way to be able to access everything. Motivation for the rewire was that the, the home has, uh, it has no grounding system to the wire and our homeowner who just recently bought this home felt like he, it was very important to he and his wife to have this. Now we did discover a number of things as we open this up, like right up in this area here, you'll see that there's some uh, wire splicing and this, uh, this kind of thing is uh, totally illegal and, and uh, it's actually a fire danger. So uh, those are things that we will be fixing in here. Now the house really didn't have any real decent insulation in it. This little bit of foil radiant barrier was the biggest part of what it had. Um, you see even on top of this, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there was a fair amount of gravel and things like that on top of this foil barrier. Uh, probably from when the home was originally built, it probably had a stone covering to the roof. A number of homes had that at that time. On, the, on this model of home uh, and then that got changed out as over a period of years. found this interesting too that in our construction here you'll see these metal ties on all these frameworks uh, up here and then as we move to this end of the room suddenly we don't have any. Um, not real sure uh, when we get our inspector out here he may require us to add some more uh, strapping like that Actually, on the other side of this, we have none at all. So we'll just have to see what the inspector says on that. Uh, back in this end of the house back here, uh, previous owner has enclosed what was a back patio. Our homeowner wants us to work with the home inspector, or not the home inspector, but the uh, city of Phoenix to see if he, we can get a permit on this. Uh, they'll want to inspect wiring in here. They'll, there may be other things that they're going to do with this too. Uh, one of the things we, we may very well do is outside here, we may build a patio cover over top of this slab out here. That will kind of protect this uh, enclosed patio from getting too much water on the base of the walls. That's always a, a big challenge with these kind of uh, makeshift enclosed patios. Our kitchen over here, I'll show you the kitchen real quick. The, the kitchen, we're, we're not doing anything with this right now, but we do plan on coming back in uh, at a later stage and totally remodeling this kitchen. Have some different ideas for that. We will be uh, doing some work on this metal duct work that's in here. Uh, what our plan is at this stage is to totally remove all of this metal ductwork and replace it with new. Our homeowner's just real concerned about the contamination within this ductwork from many, many years of, uh, of use. We have some other things up here that are from old uh, applications, probably a furnace that used to be in this little closet here. Uh, most all of that will get torn out. And see here we're in the bedroom. Of 
course our trick is that we're doing all of this work and having to protect these floors all at one time. Sometimes that's a bigger trick is the protection than the, than the demolition. Of our guest bathroom here, not too much to be seen. Uh, we do have the laundry room over here where we, this laundry room did have a, I think it had a 50 gallon gas water heater in here, but we are going to be, uh, we're replacing that with a tankless electric water heater. Uh, looking forward to seeing that. That should make a big difference in, in their supply as well as uh, the efficiency. The master bedroom here. Again, you'll see some of the typical Haver window features here. There's some more over here. I think in a past remodel, we'd probably been looking at two bedrooms between these two groups of windows, but now what we have is, is this is going over here into a large master bathroom that's been created by a previous owner. Nice big shower and a water closet on behind that. We won't be doing too much in here at this stage, but uh, the owner's telling me that we'll be back later and do some more updating and remodeling on this. I like these wires hanging down here. It's Anyway, shortly I hope to come back and do another video and be uh, illustrating how we're going to rewire all of this and redo the ductwork, uh, building our patio cover out back. That would be unique also. Um, so anyway, that's our, that's our uh, walkthrough for today. Um, please check back with us for uh, more views of this uh, mid-century modern built by the architect Ralph Haver.